All right, here's what we're doing today. As you can see, it reads Cocheta de Res, which is Spanish, obviously. Uh, I picked these up around 10 bucks. It's the uh, meat from a cow's skull, is what I understand. It's their cheek meat. I know that sounds pretty wicked, pretty gross, but I am telling you, this is the most fantastic roast that you can prepare for tacos. And that's what I'm doing right now. This one's frozen. I just pulled it out of the freezer. I already had one that I put in this morning, which is right here in the crock pot. And it takes about 10 hours to fully roast to the tenderness that I like it to be. I'm about to test it right now. Got a fork here. Let's see how we're doing. It's coming along, that's for sure, but it probably won't be ready for a few more hours. And that's what we're looking at. I'll show you how to prepare these awesome, awesome cooked cheddar tacos. Okay, it's time to check on it now. Should be just about ready. It's been about 10 hours in here in the crock pot on low. I know it's hard to see here in the shadow, but it looks like I can shred it apart here with the fork, and that's what you want. You want it that tender. All right, well, we're good to go. And uh, in the meantime, go ahead and kill that. Turn it off. I've got a bunch of ingredients here that we got to use to make this thing happen. I've got uh, cilantro, uh, cilantro, avocados, got an onion, lime, uh, bell pepper, got some minced garlic here. Um, this. The green chili enchilada sauce is what I use instead of whipping together my own tomatillo uh, chili verde sauce, which is fairly simple to do, too. But you know what? It's easy if you just get it in a can, and nobody's the wiser. As long as everything else is fresh and you just have that, no big deal. It makes it that much easier for you uh, cooking it at home. Uh, got the white corn tortillas. That's my personal favorite. You can do whatever you want. Uh, flour tortillas, the yellow corn. I like the white corn because it's a little more authentic, but at the same time not as crappy as a flavor as the yellow ones because I just don't like the yellow ones. It's just too bold for me. But if that's your, your flavor, that's your taste, then go ahead and do it. Uh, sour cream, I'm a little on the light side because uh, I need to be a little on the light side. And, of course, lettuce. Uh, I've got some tomatoes I'll probably throw in there. I haven't put on the counter yet, but... In the meantime, I'm going to dice all this stuff up and make it uh, work so we can start taking this uh, roast to the stove. And we'll go from there. Okay, here's what we're down to. I've got about everything we need prepped up here to go. I went ahead and pulled the roast. As you can see, it's succulent, ready to be shredded up. That's the very next step I'm going to take here to get everything rolling because that's going to go in the skillet. I've got all the uh, accessories. We've got some cheese, we've got the green onions, scallions, if you will, tomatoes, lime, the bell pepper. Uh, this is a mix of cilantro with a chopped bell pepper. That's where I put the bell pepper. It's right underneath all that with the onions, and I'll be adding that here to the, the roast when we start cooking it. Got a little bit of lettuce, avocado, and uh, rice. And of course, we've opened the wannabe tomatillo and uh, sour cream, and we'll heat up those tortillas, too, as we go. But uh, next step, I'm going to shred this up and put it in the skillet. All right, we're ready to go. Got it all shredded. We're over here to the stove. I've got a hot skillet getting ready here. Um, really simple recipe here. From here on out, it just gets easy. Uh, like I said before, we've got the onions, we've got the cilantro, the bell peppers, the minced garlic, and we're going to start with the oil. Now, we want to sear, kind of put a little crispness on that meat. Um, if you'd like, you know, you can really just start eating the meat now. There's nothing wrong with it. You just got to season the heck out of it. But we're going to do that right here with this. Now, that seems like a lot of oil, but keep in mind, that's got to be searing all that roast. We're going to fry it a little bit, okay? First things first. A little bit of garlic. Get that in there. Go ahead and throw in the onions and the bell peppers immediately. Okay. We just want it to release that flavor. That 
garlic turns white, as soon as it turns white, you're wanting to add everything else, okay? You don't want to burn it. And you want to even out the pan, take up some of that heat, so the pan cools off with a lot of other veggies in there, like what we've got here just to start. And then what we're going to do now, before it completely releases its flavor, we're going to go ahead and add all this uh, gochetta. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but I don't care. What matters is how it tastes in the end. Okay. We're going to get that searing. And we're going to put in these limes. Give them a good squeeze. We're going to salt the heck out of it. And I mean salty. You'll probably do this time and time again. You want to kind of taste it as it goes. There's a lot of salt that goes into this, unfortunately, but I'll tell you what, it's all worth it in the end. Okay, now, if I didn't mention it before, you want to go with high heat. You know, and I'm talking high, not all the way up to high, but medium high to high, because the point isn't to just cook this more, because it's already cooked. You want to sear it. You need this meat nice and seared, just like you've got a, a prime rib and you just had it seasoned and seared. Well, we're seasoning and searing this meat. Now, I squeezed the lemons a little bit more in between breaks on the camera because there's only so much I can do with one hand. That's the flavor that you really need in here is that lime. And I like to take just one whole lime, turn it inside and out, and cook it in here just a little bit, and then I yank it. Otherwise, you get that zest from the, the peel, and it becomes overwhelming and it's too much. But you definitely, definitely want to taste a strong lime in this meat with the tacos because I think the corn tortillas are a little bit drab a little bit flavorless and uh, it really helps make the meat pop and uh, along with the other ingredients with the rice and everything else it really really works and we're going to go ahead and go with this here just a little bit longer and then we'll go to prep putting those tacos together all right i'm going to go ahead and kill the stove we got a good sear I don't know if you can hear it popping. Ooh, looks good. Okay, back to the counter in the prep area. What I did with the corn tortillas is just threw them in the microwave, about a minute and a half is all. Spread them out evenly here and just heated them up. Um, you know, you can really down a lot of these. All I do is I put a couple on the plate and then I just fill it up here with a few key ingredients we talked about. What we didn't talk about is the rice. I go with the white rice because I really liked it at the old restaurant, Chipotle, one of my favorite little taco shops. They, uh, as far as I understand, it's, it's just a little bit of salted rice with uh, some butter and some cilantro, and that's the way I do it. It seems to work. The taste is, blends right in with everything else and makes it delish. Everything else here, we'll just load into the, the taco, uh, usually the meat, the rice goes first, and then everything else on top. All right, here we go. All thrown together. We got the meat, we got the rice, we got the scallions, we got the avocado, lettuce, tomatoes. I'm gonna throw in a little, little bit of cheese. You know, whatever you want. Your particular favorites, goat cheese, whatever. Right here, we need the proven time again. Wannabe tomatillo sauce. Throw that over the top there. You just need a little bit. Trust me. Tablespoon, two tablespoons, whatever you want. I like the sauce. And uh, top it off with some sour cream if you like. And I do. They look loaded, but trust me, you're going to love it loaded. Get a little bit of lighting here for you. Mm mm mm. That's my Cochetto Tacos. There you have it.